Hello and welcome to this short video on Opera 3 notification services. My name is Steve Power and I'm one of the product specialists here at Pegasus Software. And over the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to go through and show you how Opera 3 notification services can be used and the advantages they can bring to Opera 3 users. Notification services consist of three elements. Messaging. This allows you to go through and send messages to other Opera 3 users within the system. Shutdown. This allows you to log out individual users or groups of users out of Opera 3. And finally here we have Task Scheduler. This allows you to go through and schedule a number of tasks to occur at specific dates and times. Let's go through and have a look at each of these systems. First of all, let's have a look at the Task Scheduler. The Task Scheduler allows you to go through and schedule tasks to occur at specific dates and times. Here are the tasks that we can schedule. From a system point of view, we can schedule update data structures, backup of the database, and tidy of the system. From a period end point of view, we can schedule the nominal period end, sales period end, and purchase period end. And from a nominal perspective, we can also go through and schedule rebuild of the periods or rebuild of the history tables. In my example here, I'm going to schedule a backup of the databases. What's the task name? I'm going to call this daily backup. What's the description of this task? 90 backup of Opera 3. I also need to go through and enter the Windows user ID and password. The reason I have to do this is that you don't have to be logged into Opera 3 to run these scheduled services. It will use the Windows Timer system to invoke this function, in this case, backup of the system. From a scheduling point of view, I can specify the time. In this case, I'm going to say it's 10 o'clock at night. And I can also go through and schedule the days that I wish this to occur on. So in my example here, I want it to happen from Monday through to Friday, i.e. the working week. I can also go through and specify which companies I want this backup to occur. In my example here, I'm selecting Orion Vehicle Leasing. But of course, if this was a multi-company system, I could select any of the companies within those systems. I can also choose which optional files I want to backup as well. In this case, I'm going to select the backup to include all of those files there. I'm going to save this away. And now we can see we've got a nightly backup scheduled for each of the working days of the week. Now the advantage this brings is that you can schedule backups to occur outside normal working hours. People don't need to be around to start this backup. It also means that you could schedule the running of the nominal period end, sales period end and purchase period ends to occur overnight and therefore not impinge upon the daily usage of the Opera 3 system. As part of notification services, we also have the ability to schedule messages. These messages can be about any subject, but they are likely to be related to Opera 3 functions. For instance, let's assume that we're going to do a stock take at the end of this week. Maybe I want to send a message to all users to that effect. So I'm going to create a new message. Stock take. This weekend. When do I want to send this message? Well, I'm going to go through and send this message tomorrow and I'm going to send this message out at 9 o'clock in the morning. Am I going to send it once? Am I going to send it daily? In which case, I can repeat it for a number of days. So if I'm sending this from Tuesday, I might want to set this repeat period to be 4. In other words, it will be sent Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I can specify it to be weekly, in which case I can choose the days of the week. Or I could specify it to be monthly, and in which case I can choose the individual dates of the month, or I can choose the individual days of the month. So maybe the fourth week, and I want to send it Monday through to Friday on the fourth week. In my example, however, I'm going to send this daily for the next four days. We also have the ability to put an expiry time for that message. Well, it may be that I'm sending a message because I'm doing, say, a lunchtime backup at 1 o'clock. If I'm sending this message at 11 o'clock in the morning and the backup will finish at 2 p.m., then I might want to set this expiry period to be three hours, in which case users logging into the system after lunch will not get this particular message. OK, let's put some full details to this message. Stock take this weekend. Do 
Please do not come into the office. Because it will be closed. I can then save this message away. If I want to preview this message, then I can simply press this preview button and it shows me how the message will look on the user's desktops. I can also expand this message to see the full details. I can also go through and set up a distribution list. Who do I want this message to go through to? I can go through and I can select individual user groups such as the finance team or the sales team. I can select individual users. In this example I'm going to send it to everyone because I want everybody to know that the stock take is occurring this weekend. I can also go through and set up the companies that this message is to be sent across. In this case I'm only going to select Orion Vehicle Leasing. We need to be logged into Opera 3 to see this message, but we don't have to have Opera 3 displayed on screen. I could be, for instance, in Excel, and at the appointed date and time, this message would appear to me within that program. And the final part of notification services is shut down. This allows me to log users out of the system and can be particularly useful if I need to run an exclusive process such as a backup. Let's create a shutdown. Shutdown. Daily backup. I can specify the date and time. In this case, I'm going to say it's today at 1 o'clock. I can specify whether this is to be once, whether it's to be daily, in which case I can specify the repeat frequency. If I set this to be five days, then it will shut the system down at that time for the next five days. I can set this to be weekly, Monday through to Friday, or I can set it to be monthly and I can choose the individual dates of the month or I could choose the days of the month Monday to Friday for the first, second, third and fourth week of the month. In my example here however I'm going to set this to be once at that date and time. When do we want to notify users that this shutdown is going to be activated? I'm going to send this 15 minutes before the actual shutdown takes place. I can also go through and put additional information associated with this message. Backup, 1pm. Please log out before. Otherwise the system will automatically log you out. I can go through and I can specify the lockout period. If I'm logging people out of the system, then I don't want them to immediately log back in. So in which case, if I set out this lockout period to be 20 minutes, they will not be able to log in until those 20 minutes have passed. I also have this active flag. If this is ticked on, then this shutdown will occur. If I turn this active flag off, then this shutdown will not occur. Let's save this shutdown away. I can also define a distribution list and I can specify the users that I want to send this message through to. Obviously this is a backup and therefore I want to send it to everybody in the system because I want to shut everybody out of the system. However, if this is related to finance, let's say I was doing a nominal ledger period end, then I could just log those people out of the system. Or if I was running a sales period end, then I could log out the sales team and the sales and billing teams. So the system allows you to go through and select groups of users, individual users, or in my case, everyone within the system. I can also go through and specify which companies I want this lockout to occur. In my case, Orion Vehicle Leasing. If I want to preview this message, then I simply press the preview button and it shows me the summary of the message and this can be expanded to show me the full details of that message. Users will now be logged out of the system at this specified date and time. The system will send one message, in this example 15 minutes before the scheduled shutdown is to occur. There are also two system generated messages. I have pre-configured mine to be 10 minutes before and 5 minutes before the shutdown. Now of course in the real world you have to be conscious that you are forced to be logging people out of the system so you need to give them sufficient time for them to complete and save their work. 
So for instance, I might want to send the backup message two hours before the backup is to commence. Then I might want the first of the system generated messages to be sent an hour before the shutdown is to occur, and maybe the final message 15 minutes before the shutdown is to occur. We can see that the first message has come through. Shutdown, daily backup. I can expand this message to see the full details. And I can close this message down. We can now see that the first of the system generated messages has arrived. Notice that it has a black exclamation mark in a yellow warning triangle and is telling you that the daily backup is to occur at one o'clock. You should now close your work and log out of the system. We now have the second of the system messages appearing. Notice the severity of the message this time, a white cross on a red background. This is your last opportunity to save your work and log out of the system before you're automatically logged out. The system has now logged me out of Opera 3. If I try logging back in as manager, it warns me. I can't log back in as manager because the system is locked for this specified date and time, in my example here, for 20 minutes. If I log back in as admin, there is a two minute timing delay, but after that, then I'll be allowed back into the system. I have logged back into the system as admin, and I can therefore go into the notification services, shut down, and I can turn off that active flag. Now, if I save that away, all users can log back into the system. So to conclude, Notification Services allows us to send messages to other Opera 3 users, allows us to forcibly log Opera 3 users out of the system, and it also allows us to go through and schedule a number of tasks to occur at predefined dates and times. These are useful features to help manage the Opera 3 system in a busy multi-user environment. Thank you for taking this time to watch this short video. For further information, please contact a Pegasus partner or visit pegasus.co.uk.